So they are the latest developments uh, from Israel and the Gaza Strip. Nothing really justifies the barbarism we've seen against those innocent civilians. But I do want to bring you a Palestinian viewpoint. Join me live now is Palestinian National Initiative General Secretary, Dr Mustafa Barghouti, who is in Ramallah in the West Bank. It's important to point out that Mustafa is not affiliated with Hamas. Uh, thanks so much for your time, uh, Doctor. With all that said, uh, what we are seeing in your part of the world is horrific. What is your view of things? Well, first of all, I must say that we are against uh, the killing of any civilian, whether Palestinian or Israeli. Uh, but uh, what's happening is another cycle of uh, confrontation uh, that will that that is a continuation of the root causes of the problem. And uh, regardless of how much uh, Palestinians are dehumanized and uh, calling them animals, as the Israeli defense minister did, justifying war crimes against them. The reality is that 2.2 million people in Gaza Strip, 70 percent of them are refugees displaced from their homeland in 1948 by Israel, uh, are now hostage to Israel. Uh, Israel is denying them food, uh, denying them water, denying them uh, medications, denying them electricity. Uh, and that is not the way one should treat uh, civilians. As much as Israeli civilians should not be killed, also Palestinian civilians should not be killed. Uh, but the root problem of what we see today is the continuation of an illegal Israeli occupation, which has been there for 56 years. And that is too much. And this is the fifth war or the sixth war on Gaza. Uh, wars before did not solve the problem, and one more war will not solve the problem. I think what we need now is immediate de-escalation, immediate exchange of prisoners so that all Israeli prisoners would come home and all Palestinian prisoners will be released, and then find a way of not only having a ceasefire, but solving the problem by ending the illegal Israeli occupation of Palestinian land. Uh, a system of uh, occupation and apartheid is not a solution. Now, Palestinians are subjected to apartheid and occupation, not only in Gaza Strip, but also here in the West Bank mm. by the Israeli army. But, Doctor, you'd agree that this is different. This is not just a, another conflict in your part of the world. It seems that Hamas targeted civilians. That was their intention on Saturday. Does anything justify that, even when you talk about the frustrations with occupation? No, no nothing justifies attacking civilians. I, I always said that, and I always... Uh, so I, I don't support violence in general, that's for sure. But uh, I think uh, Mr Netanyahu carries a big responsibility for this. Uh, Mr Netanyahu stood in the United Nations only two weeks ago, carrying a map of Israel challenging the whole world, showing uh, uh, the West Bank, Gaza Strip, uh, East Jerusalem, and the uh, Golan Heights, which are all occupied territories, mm. as annexed to Israel. Uh, his, his, his finance minister, Smotrich, who, uh, who calls himself a, 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 a fascist homophobe, said very clearly that uh, we should fill the West Bank, which is the occupied territory, with settlements and settlers. Uh, so that Palestinians would ho lose any hope of a state of their own. And then they will have one of three options, either to immigrate or accept a life of subjugation to Israelis or die. This is a minister, uh, this is the second most important minister in Israel. Wow. And Netanyahu never negated that. So I, I think the, all these factors have led to this situation today. And now calling Palestinians animals will not help. Yeah. Putting Palestinians under siege will even make things worse. And conducting a war on people who are under occupation is something that never happened before. Yeah, this is, of course, by way of explanation, not justification, as you say. Uh, you, nothing uh, justifies what we saw uh, on Saturday. But uh, I believe that you have a family in Gaza. We have a live shot of Gaza City at the moment. It is in the very early hours of the morning. And uh, I note that it is in the very early hours of the morning for you too, Doctor. So we appreciate your time especially. Uh, but for our viewers that tune in regularly, we had this live shot yesterday and it is notice noticeably darker 
today. The lights are completely, almost completely black in Gaza City. That has to be a result of the blockade, right? Absolutely. And as you know, I am a medical doctor. I run, we run a very important medical operation in Gaza. And we've been receiving uh, uh, terrifying uh, calls from people who are sick. Uh, patients who need uh, kidney dialysis will not get it. Uh, patients with cancer cannot get treatment for their cancer. Patients with chronic non-communicable diseases also are suffering. Uh, medical facilities cannot operate. Uh, the Israeli airstrike even attacked an ambulance today, killing uh, few uh, many people uh, who were already injured uh, in that ambulance and, and also injuring the driver. Uh, this is unacceptable. And subjecting 2.2 million people uh, to this terrible disaster, besieging them, depriving them from water, food, medications, is something that nobody should accept. And that's what Human Rights Watch called uh, uh, an, an act of war crime, uh, as much as also the. I mean, they blame Hamas. Hamas is uh, is, is is a party, uh, but Israel is a state, and Israel is using their planes there to bombard civilians in Gaza, destroying houses after mm -hmm. houses after houses. Uh, Hamas Hundreds is more than a party, though, also... Doctor. Hamas is a terrorist organization, is it not? I don't agree with this term, terrorist, because trying to accuse Palestinians of terrorism uh, is, is, is uh, I mean, it's not just Hamas that is accused of being terrorist. Uh, you know, the PLO, the Palestinian Liberation Organization, which recognized Israel, uh, which made peace with Israel, which concluded East Oslo agreement with Israel, is still classified in the American Congress as terrorist. So uh, yes, I think uh, this is part of dehumanizing Palestinians. Doctor, we appreciate your time there from Ramallah on the West Bank. We will check in with you soon. Do keep in touch. Thank you.